Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa. If you are new here, your favorite problematic housewife. Okay, I'm doing kind of like an impromptu video. I wasn't planning on filming tonight, but I just want to like chat about some things because I am so into this rabbit hole of true crime that I have been going down. And you guys kind of know about it because I've been hinting and making community posts and I am doing a deep dive into the true crime community. And I am looking into all aspects of true crime, all the subgenres like true crime and makeup, true crime and mukbangs, there's true crime live streamers, there's true crime channels that do deep dives into older cases and then we have the ones that will cover active cases. You know, and there's true crime on missing children. There are so many true crime genres out there, and I just find it so interesting. I'm so into this topic, and a lot of you guys seem to be interested too. And it's a really good conversation to have, and I really want my video to be like well-balanced, show both sides of the equation, the good about true crime, the bad about true crime, the different issues within each subgenre. Like, I'm really diving into this. And you guys seem to be really interested too, which is always good. So I don't want it to just be like, true crime is awful. This is just all the bad stuff. Like there is good things about true crime. Also part of my appearance, like I said, it's the end of the night. Also, if you can see my background, my kids draw all over my wall. But, um, so as I've been diving into the different little true crime communities because true crime on YouTube is so huge, you guys. It's so big and that's why it's taken me longer to do this video because I'm really looking into like every little community. And there's little mini communities even within the subgenres, and there's these little live streaming communities of people that know each other and it's just so interesting to me. I am so into looking into all of this. So I came across this guy named Ryan Upchurch. And I'm like, why does his name sound familiar? It sounded familiar, but I couldn't put my finger on like what was so familiar about him. Now he's a musician. I was like, okay, I must have heard him or his music somewhere. And the reason I found him was looking up things about the Kylie Rodney case. And I know a lot of you who follow me, have been following the Kylie Rodney case. It's a very sad story about a teenage girl who went to a party and pretty much never came back. She went missing and they recently just found her body in the hatchback of her car in the lake near where the party was. And it's just so sad. Um, it, this case really gets to me um, lately because I have a teenager, you know what I mean, who wants to go out and hang out with friends and do these things. And it's just scary to think that it's possible that your child would just never come home. You know what I mean? So I found this guy, Ryan Upchurch, in my little process of research and digging. And I started watching his videos. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, who is this guy? What is he doing? Is he a troll? Like, I'm trying to figure it out because he's coming up with all these insane conspiracy theories, but not just the typical conspiracy theories that true crime channels will say. Like, I think this happened. These are like wild, wild accusations and conspiracy theories. He's accusing this channel, Ikmel, Ikmedel. I don't know how to say it. Correct me down below. Of being involved in like child, like, trafficking. He's saying Kylie Rodney isn't real and her real name's Cal Callie Rodney and somehow Molly Golightly's husband is involved and Justice for All's involved. I'm like, what the hell? And it really started throwing me off because this guy has a huge channel. He has over a million subscribers, you guys. So it's not like just some small channel who was just saying all this crazy stuff. He has a big channel. I'm like, is he serious? Like, I haven't fully formed my opinion yet. And he might get his own video. I, I haven't fully formed my opinion yet. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing a deep dive into this guy. Because he is quite the character. Like, quite the character, you guys. There's a lot of buzz about him right now. I keep seeing him being talked about on all these different channels and 
he was on Molly Go Lightly's panel, and it's like, what is going on here? So I'm trying to figure out if this guy's a troll, if he's like an Alex Jones conspiracy theorist, if he's, you know, crazy, or what is the deal? And it was interesting because it was kind of a mixed bag. I made a community post asking you guys, like, have you heard of this guy? What do you think? Like, is he for real? Some of the stuff he's saying is just crazy. And some of you were like, yeah, you know, he's not that bad. He's on to something. Yeah, he comes up with crazy conspiracy theories, but he's a good guy. He doesn't mean any harm. Then other people were saying he's disgusting. He's awful. He's done all this crazy stuff. Now, I also heard the side where that he's doing this to promote his music. And, like, is it that? I don't know. I'm looking into it. It's all very interesting to me, though. And, um... It, it's just crazy in the true crime community how fast, like, wild accusations and conspiracy theories can spread. Especially when you have these very large channels pushing this stuff out. And then their whole, and then their whole audience believes them. And other channels start talking about it. And it's like, what is happening here? And I just feel bad for the family also because there's just so much misinformation being spread like to when somebody's daughter died and to say she's not real and it's all a hoax like that's literally what Alex Jones is being sued for right now Alex Jones is literally being sued because all the people from that school shooting he's saying we're all fake and liars and stuff like that must be the worst thing ever to hear when your child just died so like that kind of has me side-eyeing this guy but I'm trying to figure out, like, where is the evidence? Like, where is his actual evidence? Like, now, he did show this picture of Kylie where, of her teeth, and that kind of threw me off a little bit because that picture was, did look kind of edited or something, and then he went to another picture of her teeth, but maybe she had dental work done. Like, it's very possible that she had dental work done, and that was a before picture, and then after the dental work. I don't really know. Um, I do know that when you're a true crime channel, there is going to be your own opinion and conspiracy theories thrown in there to a certain extent. That's just human nature that we're going to have thoughts, we're going to have opinions, and we're going to have our thoughts and theories about what is going on with the case. But this guy's theories and allegations and everything are just so out there. I'm so confused. And some people actually believe it. Now, do I think there's something weird going on with the case? I definitely do. I definitely think there's something up. She didn't just, she didn't drive her car into the lake. You know what I mean? She was in the hatchback of a Honda CRV. So it's like some of these SUVs, I have one that's similar, has a hatchback as the trunk where you lift up the trunk like that. And there's pictures been shown, like, there's no way that she just ended up there after the car went into the lake. You know what I mean? The mirror was broken. It looked like the window was broken on the front driver's side. Some people are saying they're not sure if it was broken. But you can see, if you look at the photo, you can see a piece of the glass. So something happened to this poor girl. Something happened. We don't know what it is, and hopefully we can get information once the authorities and investigators figure out what's going on. So I do understand that people think there was some kind of foul play and suspicious things going on with the case. I completely agree with that. But, like, we at some, do, you know, we have to let the authorities do their job, you know? Um, it is weird that AWP was able to find Kylie's car and the sheriff's weren't. Some people are saying the car went in there after they did the search because it's so outrageous that they couldn't find it. Maybe their equipment wasn't good enough. I'm not really sure. But this guy, Ryan Upchurch, really has me scratching my head, you guys. Like, right now I'm kind of leaning more towards he's a troll. Um, he seems to be shaking up, like, he's shaking up the true crime community. Like, everybody is like, what is, what is he saying? What's going on? Talking about him. Buzz around him. Like, maybe that's what he's trying to do. I'm not really sure. But if he is, it's working. Because even me, a commentary channel, is like, hmm, 
what's going on there. So, or does he really believe what he's saying? Like, is he Alex Jones? Does he, like, think that? Is it a conspiracy? Does he have more evidence than he's showing people? I don't know. But I do think he needs to be careful and just be respectful of the family because it is a real family. They found her body. You know, it was confirmed by the coroner that she is Kylie Rodney in the car. And I haven't really seen him address that because he's claiming it's all fake. But she was found in the car. It was her body. It's real. That part is confirmed. So his whole theory of Kylie is really Callie and it's a different person. There was a party all the way like in another area that's claiming, I don't know. It's just all insane, you guys. And I just kind of wanted to get on and chat for a little bit. Um, get some more of you guys' thoughts in the comments. I'm definitely going to be doing a deep dive into this Ryan character because it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, and I find it very interesting. I also want to look back on his channel and see how he's covered other cases and how his behavior was on other cases. Like, did he cover Gabby Petito? Like, this is just, I haven't done barely any research, you guys. So this is just like a video. I'm just chatting. I don't have an opinion formed yet. I don't have receipts. I don't have nothing. The only stuff I've seen him is his view, few videos about Kylie Rodney and him on panel with Molly Golightly. So I want to look at, did he cover Gabby Petito? I know he did say something about Gabby Petito, now that I'm thinking about it. He said something like Gabby Petito was in the same thing and there's a conspiracy with that too. Does he do this with every case? Some of you guys were telling me in the comments of my community post, which I appreciate so much, you guys. I love interacting with you guys on my community tab and getting everybody's thoughts. I'm thinking I might do live streams. I, I want to go live at least once a week because I love interacting with you guys and seeing your thoughts on everything that's happening on YouTube. We are all usually interested in the same topics, which I really like, and I like hanging with you guys on stream so but when I can't do that I love talking to you in my comments and a lot of you guys are following this case and know of Ryan Upchurch so many people like I got a lot of interaction on that community post which is amazing and I want to hear you guys thoughts like that's why I asked your question asked the question to you um what do you think of true crime channels what are the issues that you see what are your things you like? What channels do you like? Because I really want to see everybody's opinion. I want different opinions on it. Some people love true crime and makeup. Other people don't. And I think there's pros and cons to all these different little subgenres of true crime. And that's why I love seeing you guys' comments and opinions on it. And a lot of you knew who this guy was. And were like, oh, yep, he's done this, 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 and this. He's horrible. He's hurting the family. I was like, whoa. I was not expecting so many people to know. Okay, I don't know where that cut off. <laughs> my phone died. And I had to put something on my lips because my lips were feeling dry as hell. Also, if my hair looks darker, that's because it is. I dyed it again. I was really missing my, like, super dark hair. Where was I? Like, where did that cut off? Oh, my community post. I wasn't expecting so many of you to know who he was. So I thought that was really cool that we can have a discussion about it. Um, if there's any other channels you guys want me to look into to start covering and see what's going on, anything you want to send me, I will leave my housewife receipts email down below. And yeah, let me know if there's anything else or if you like this kind of stuff that I'm starting to cover because I find it really interesting. Um, I, I follow so many different things on YouTube. I follow true crime. I follow beauty. I follow skincare. I follow drama channels, TV channels, commentary channels, topics, commentary. Like, If it's on YouTube, I'm pretty much watching it. So I also have a video coming on a vegan influencer named Raw Beauty Christy. No, <laughs> Raw Beauty Christy. No, that's the beauty influencer. Her name is Fully Raw Christina. I will leave her channel down below if you guys want to start following along with this person. She is from the vegan community, and I actually remember her 
from the vegan community. Fully Raw Christina. Well, she's pushing this like dangerous fad five day juice cleanse. I remember her pushing like the fully raw diet and lifestyle when I was in the vegan community. There is actually a bunch of interesting characters in the vegan community besides that vegan teacher. That vegan teacher is not the only crazy up in the vegan community. So let me guys know. Let me guys. Wow. I'm getting tired. I need to go to bed. Let me know if you guys want to see more vegan community coverage because I was a part of the vegan community many moons ago. I was actually vegan for a year and we have Freely the Banana Girl, a vegan lady who bounces up and down half naked on a yoga ball while screaming people go vegan. We have this guy named Durian Rider who's just a creepy perverted weirdo. That is just disgusting. The characters in the vegan community are extremely interesting. And I would love to delve more into those people. <laughs> so let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And I hope you enjoyed this video and this little just like random chat. Um, stay tuned for my true crime video. Stay tuned for all the videos. Make sure your notifications are on because you never know when I'm going to upload. As you guys know, I have many kids. I have a hectic life. Everything's crazy. I upload when I can. And I appreciate you guys' support so much. I am almost at 6K. I am like, what? Like, I remember when I was at 500 subscribers, you guys. And then hit 1,000 and like 6K. Like, I am just, wow. I appreciate the support so much. I appreciate all of you guys that support and interact with my channel. You have no idea. It means so much to me. I love doing YouTube so much. Like this is my thing. As a mom of four, a stay-at-home mom, everything's about the kids, the house, the husband. Like YouTube is my thing that I love doing. I love doing commentary. I love like digging into different things and seeing what's going on and gossiping and all this stuff. I just love it so much. So thank you guys for coming on this crazy YouTube journey with me. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.